Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a series of images around an object, move them into Photoshop, adjust them in Photoshop, and then make an animation out of them uh, using Photoshop's animation tools and panel. To start with, I'm going to take these, this picture of the pine cone, which I had a student take, going around it between 25 to probably 40 degree intervals around it. I don't think she was very careful about the intervals that she used. So I'm going to click on the first image, and then I'm going to shift click on the last image. And then I'm going to go up to the Windows, I'm sorry, the Tools menu, go to Photoshop, and we are going to load files into Photoshop layers. You can see it loading those each of those images into layers in Photoshop. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to move at each of these images so that they are, um, so that it look like they're about the same place and the same distance from the viewer. So if we look at these first two images, these top two, I'm just going to make it so I can see the layer below. Uh, you know, one way to do this would be to change the opacity of all of them. Why don't I do that? I'm going to change the opacity to all of them to about 50%. This kind of gives an onion skin effect. It looks kind of confusing at first, but um, as I do this, I'm going to hide these layers below. Uh, we'll only be able to see the top two layers at any time as I go through this. So, so let's uh, hide that top layer, the bottom layer. They, they it almost looks like it's in the same place. So I'm going to move this layer over just a little bit to try to get it so it's in the same spot as the first one. I'm going to hide this layer and open up this layer. And I'm going to always be moving the layer behind. So, so this time the layer behind is a little bit higher. So I'm going to click on the layer behind and I'm going to move that. So it's in this, it's close to the same spot as I can. Okay, now I'm going to open up this layer, and we can see that this time this the pine cone is clear over here. So I'm going to move this pine cone over, and don't worry, this will all work out in the end. I'm going to move that over. Oops, I moved the wrong one. So I'm going to Control Z uh, when I move this layer. So I'm going to want to move this over so we have it as close to the same spot as we can. Did I just do that again? I want to move that layer. Oh, I have auto select on. I want to turn that off because I want to select that the layer beneath. So I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to hold on to this layer now. I'm going to move the back layer so it's in the same spot as much as I can. And now I'm moving. I want to move the bottom layer. There we go. I'm going to keep that moving. Now this one looks like it uh, kind of moved away a little bit. Let's, uh, let's look at that layer below. It looks like we zoomed away just a little bit. But I'm just going to have to deal with that. So this one. Now we go to this one. I think you get the idea what I'm doing here, though. Try to get that same spot. This is not an exact science. It could be a little more exact. But there it is. And then I'm on the last one. Let's get that so it's right on the same spot as much as possible. All right, so let's select all of them now. Control, sh I mean Shift on all those. We're going to remove the opacity up to all the way up to 100. Now, the, the trouble with what I did is, as we look at any one layer, they, as we look at the layers, you can see that they're not quite uh, sign, you know, they're not quite in the same place. Uh, we're doing all right though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop. Uh, uh, these layers so that I can see. Uh, notice that's the lowest point right there because I she, they kept moving up. So that's the lowest point. So I'm just going to kind of crop like this. And let me show all these layers. Oh, it's not going to let me do it that way. So I'm just going to show all the layers. Wow. I'm going to crop right here. I'm not going to go too high. And I'm going to enter. And let's see how that looks. See if I chopped anything off. 
It doesn't look like I did. All right, so I have all those layers in one shot. Um, so now I'm going to go turn on the animation panel. I went to Windows and chose animation. Uh, uh, that's how I did it. I'm going to go control zero so I can see a full view of this. Now here comes some of the commands that Photoshop has that are pretty good. I'm going to click on that and I want to make frames from layers. And what that did, it changed this from being a timeline into a frame timeline. So instead of saying it's time going along here, it's counting the frames. So right here I have the fourth frame, start of the fifth frame, sixth frame, and so on. And we can actually play this. I'm going to click play. And we can see that kind of rotate around. But it goes on because I didn't t put, a, put an end point on it. So I need to um, put an end point on this. Where is that? Let me grab this thing right here and move it all the way to the end. But uh, and we could we could just save this as an animation now. But I want to do one more thing. Uh, I want I want to uh, click on this just to make it into so it's just one frame at a time. It shows these frames and then I can control how long I want each one to go. Right now, it's going at a, a, you know three hundredths of a second is the duration for each one of these frames. I'm going to click all of them and I'm just going to change it to 0.2 seconds. So it's going to take about 1.6 seconds to go through this whole animation. So I'm going to click on that, press play, and here's our animation of that pine cone turning around. And, and, and it's all right. Uh, I can also tell it that I want it to, um, to loop right here forever. So it just keeps going through those frames. It's just going to keep rotating that pine cone around. And that's all right. I did an all right job of lining them up with what I had. I could have zoomed in or out on a couple of them and made them all uniform. But it's it's pretty close to getting the idea across. Maybe you can't see it with this the way this recorded, but it's rotating around. There's one more step that I want to do, and that is the way we save this so that it can be used like in a web page or in some other kind of file. And so I want to. It's easy to to think, oh, I need to do this as a um, export it as as a um, video or something like that. But really, the best way to save this is a GIF, an animated GIF. And so I'm going to save for web and device, and it does the default GIF right here. GIF. Some people say GIF. I say GIF while well, it's loading here. And, uh, well, that's going to, I'm going to zoom out so we can see the whole thing right here. And when, when you do this, it, you lose some of the color information because we're doing colors at 256. Uh, that's okay. I, I mean, uh, it's all right to do that. So I'm going to save this now. Oh, it says it's 2559 by... 9 to 20. That's bigger than I want. That's pretty big. I want this to be, um, I don't want it to be that big. I, I want it to be 720 across. So let me do that. Ooh, that cropped it. Oh, okay, it didn't crop it. We're good. So let's view it at 100%. That looks a little better. Now I don't have to worry about so many things. I'm going to click Save. And just for fun, I'm going to save this on my desktop. This is Pinecone Cone Animation. And let me save it on my desktop. Where's my desktop place? Computer. Oh, desktop right there. All right, save. And now I'm going to go look at my desktop. <laughs> Sorry, I had to see that. And here's my pinecone animation. And I'm going to use my pinecone animation right here. I'm just going to drop it in a browser. And you'll see that it, there it is in the browser, rotating around. Not as perfect as I like it, but it does a pretty good job. That is all. Go ahead and do your animation. I'd like to see them.